Hey everyone, if you've uh, been a viewer of my channel, you probably know at this point that I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to pricing tables. Pricing tables are so important because when someone comes to your website and they want to purchase some of you, maybe it's a service, maybe it's an item that you're going to ship to them, maybe it's something else, then they are basically looking around for what exactly is the best price point for them to like jump into uh, your, your product and become a customer. And therefore, it's really crucial that you create pricing tables and pricing pages that are extremely well created for conversion. So they're optimized for conversion, the famous CRO, the click rate optimization specifically for pricing pages. So here I'm going to show you a feature that Stripe has just released out of bed a couple of weeks ago. And it's an extremely cool feature because it allows you to create pricing tables and therefore embedding those pricing tables inside any pricing page without writing any single line of code. Um, a really good thing about this, 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 this product is that it kind of relies on other products that Stripe already offers. So for example, here you can see I'm on the Stripe dashboard on the products page and I already have created three uh, pricing points, right? So I have a SaaS rocket ship and I have three plans. This is my basic plan. It's $500 a year. And you can see here, I have a smiley, uh, happy face icon, which means that you can customize this thumbnail to be anything you want. And as you can see, I can click the edit button and I can add a lot of information. I can give it a name. I can give it a generic description. And then I can also go ahead and add as, as many features, right? Like, so multiple features about what exactly am I getting with, with this subscription, with this plan. Another important thing to, to, to acknowledge is the fact that there are multiple types of uh, pricing that you can offer with pricing tables. There are things like based on how many uh, seats that you're going to sell. There's, a, there's also the option to give a free trial. And also, of course, you can do the, the flat, like one-time payments, or you can do recurring payments. So there's quite a few things. So let's go ahead and just like save this as it was. I don't have to do any edits. And then I'll show here that there are indeed uh, three things. Okay, going back, going back to all products. And um, you can see I have like one, two, three that I'm going to use. So the next thing I'm going to show you is now that I know that I have three products that I want to kind of bundle up. And you can have up to four uh, pricing tiers. So I'm going to create a pricing table. So if you're in the beta, you will see down here there's a pricing tables link. This pricing table link here allows me to create a pricing table, right? So I can just go ahead and say, create pricing table. Before I do that, let me show you what a real pricing table looks like. So if I refresh this and it will have the updated icons because I changed it just a minute ago and it will have my icons. It will have the name of the, of, of the plan. It has the features and like call to action, the price. And then you can also highlight whether it's a recommended plan to get started with or something else. But all of these can obviously be tweaked. So let's try and like create our own pricing table. So first of all, I'm going to add a, uh, a product. So I'm going to recreate what I did here and I'm going to use my basic, uh, my basic tier. So my basic tier, I can choose, do I want to give a free trial? Perhaps I don't. And then I can also go here and use the, the color picker here and select the color. So maybe this time I'm going to do a more like subtle gray and then the button will be uh, blue because why not? You can also choose between some fonts so you can customize this. I like the system font. This is great. And then you can choose between like different types of buttons, sharp, pill or rounded. I like rounded. It's uh, most appealing to me. And then you can decide here whether this is a highlighted product and therefore it should be highlighted when people go and see your pricing table. And you can also say, choose between like is this the best deal maybe it's you want to say recommended so these are like three very like best practice uh labels that are added usually to pricing tables so there's no way to customize this further but this is already a pretty good starting point so you have one pricing table let's add uh, sorry one pricing um product one product that i'm selling let's add another one so let's now add the advanced and as you can see in real time and this is the preview i can see right here that i'm basically being shown now that I have two and I can go ahead and I can also change uh, the colors here. But obviously if I change the color now, it's not gonna like change every single button color. It's just gonna like change, as you can see, as I move, it's gonna change the color for everything. And then say you wanna add another product. And of course I do have a third product and I wanna add the super enterprise plan. 
uh, with the melting icon. And I can decide maybe this one doesn't get a trial. Maybe the second one doesn't get a trial. But the first one, sure, we'll give a seven-day trial. So people can go on your pricing page, they can see the pricing table, and they can decide to start a trial, not be charged for seven days, and then only on the seventh day, they will be charged after the seventh day, rather, $500 for the whole year. So this is a good way to customize your pricing tables um, to basically be as standardized, but also as best practice as possible without writing any single line of code. So let's hit continue. And then here you can, of course, like customize the checkout um, page. Here, obviously, it's using uh, the, the 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 color, the brand color that I have, which is red specifically for this test account. Uh, but you can add a lot of like options, and all of this option depends on uh, basically the the product that you're selling. So I can have different options for basic, advanced, or super enterprise. So here I can say, maybe on the basic, you can get a promo code, but on the enterprise, obviously there's no promo code. So let's go ahead and click that. And then also want to give promo codes on the advanced plan. And I also want to allow customer to adjust quantity on the advanced plan, because I want to give them the ability to buy maybe multiple seats. So like 99 accounts from one to 99, but perhaps that's too much. So I'm going to do from one to 10 accounts. And at the end of the day, when like they purchase this, I can also decide to either show a confirmation page or I can decide not to show a confirmation page and instead redirect to uh, another website, which you can customize here. I'm going to just redirect to Google. And as you can see, you can also customize what happens when someone purchases a different product or a different plan rather uh, on, on, on each tier. Right. So this is amazing. Um, so, and, and again, this is like another way to see quickly everything. And you can also add the amazing way to collect tax automatically uh, if you have enabled that. So I'm pretty happy with this. I don't have a confirmation page, but instead I'm redirecting to Google. And it's, in fact, I should probably do that for all the pages. So I'm just going to redirect, redirect, redirect. But again, you don't have to do this. You can, and then I click, click finish. And then in my pricing tables, I will see that today on June 7th, uh, 2nd rather, I have created a pricing table. I copy this code here. I go, to, I go on code pen. I uh, go here and I just paste this here. And then I hit save perhaps, or you can use your local environment or something else. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and like do full page view. And now it's gonna show me the pricing table the, and I can embed this like I showed you with a little bit of code in any page. So it's very no code friendly and um, it looks pretty good. So this is a very good starting point. Uh, there's something more I want to show you. And that's it. That is what do you do once that someone subscribes or starts a trial? Like what can you do with that? Like how do you get that information perhaps sent to an air table? to a spreadsheet, to your database, or maybe something else. Maybe you want to send an email to welcome them and thank them for having subscribed to your SaaS. Well, if you, if you stay with me a little bit longer, I will show you just that.